Stop my gong going, Maggie. Oh, what's on that lens? I think we'll clean that lens a bit before we start, eh? <sighs> I, I want to make some, some paddles for my blow up boat, yeah? Um, it came with it came with some some really crappy collapsible aluminium oars. Um, I never find rowing these boats to be very effective. Um, I think I think because I am I'm slightly biased towards the canoe anyway. I like to uh, I like to kneel or sit and um, woof, hoo -ah, hi -ah, hoo -ah, hi -ah, you know get stuck in with a paddle. Um, I have made a, a few canoe paddles in the past. Uh, this is a pretty nice one I did for the missus to try and get her into um, canoeing. Uh, she, she's very, very appreciative of it. Unfortunately, one of my one of my mates um, got hold of it and uh, snapped it off, and I've not repaired it yet. So I need to do that at some point. Um, this, this is another one. Um, you know, this is the one I like to use. Nice, nice bit of blade area there, and uh, really, really long. This is a this is probably as, as long as anyone wants a canoe paddle, just up to your shoulders. That's only ever good if you're at the back of a canoe and you, you want to be doing the steering as well. Um, otherwise you should have it a bit shorter really. But for blow up boats, uh, I like really short paddles, yeah? Um, you know, sort of three foot long max. Um, so, you know, so they work if you're kneeling down. And you're a lot closer to the water there and you quite often have to, you know, this, uh, this blow up boat that I've got, it's got... Um, walls on it about 18 inches thick so you, you end up half hanging over the side of the boat um, and, and when you're in that position um, it's just you can't use the length of a full paddle so if I, if I do take a paddle like this out on an inflatable boat I end up just uh, just holding it and not using the, uh, the top two foot of the handle you know and it's, it's not it's not great on your wrist to be holding a paddle like that I mean it'll work It'll work. It's not that bad. But um, uh, you don't need the strength either. If you've got a shorter paddle, it doesn't have to be half as strong. So I want to make a bunch of um, bunch of paddles out of this old pallet wood that I got. Um, you see me broke it up in my beer crate video. And uh, what well, I basically I want to make um you know a really really dirty, cheap, quick paddle that also operates and functions quite pleasantly you know um, so that's what we'll have a crack at today
So I've got um, I threw all the uh, all the paddles through the through the thicknesser. Um, they've come out very nice. I'm glad I did because it's you know I didn't really have to. I could have just done the whole lot. I was gonna you know I'm obviously gonna sculpt them a bit. Can't uh, can't use a paddle that looks like that, Keddy. Uh, but what is is giving me a really good look at the grain on this timber. Um, what? There's I've got two two opposing pieces there. I did pick the best timber I could find out of that uh, out of that stack of pallet wood, but this is um, you know not ideal with the. Uh, that's nice, yeah, because that's going to be oh, that's going to resist uh, any temptation to sort of uh, break an edge off. But this. This isn't got much strength for coffee here with the grain, you know, the, the grain running up and down, is it? So, so sort of the last thing you want on a board because you could just, uh, you know, I, I could effectively lose chunk um, a big, uh, big old lump of this um, this paddle. I don't think there's any danger of that happening with it this thick. Uh, so what I'm going to do is rather than rather than you know really smooth it off, um, I'm just going to really concentrate on the edges and leave the leave the meat there on a the paddle you don't want you don't want fat edges you always want fine edges on a paddle otherwise they're incredibly noisy and uh, and really splashy um like obviously not everyone's doing special ops like um like i will be uh but um you don't want noisy paddles do you <laughs> i mean it's, it's a waste of energy apart from anything else so um the edges is where it really matters yeah uh, nice fine edges, um, and also, like if you've got uh, if you're sculling or anything like that, then um, and you've got thick edges on it, then it'll it'll just be uh, it'll just be chewing up the water and not actually pushing it where you want it to go. Huh? <laughs> so, so. What's your, uh, what's your favourite bit of the pit so far, Robbie Kato? Uh, this boat. This boat, yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. I mean, seems to be seems to be a minor infringement on our sea lanes. Feels like there might be some sort of piracy action in here, you know. You know like, I'm gonna have to practice my seal clubbing. Mm.
Mm. One's all right. Shame about yours. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey. Yeah, I mean it'll be it'll be nice nice having a beer for like the next two hours and then we realise we have to get back and we'll run out of beer and be horrible.